Good afternoon. Well, after two days, i to summarize the pace so far from what you've seen out there. You know, I thought the pace dropped off a little bit day one, like you'd expect, uh, as you got to the second half of the day for each of the groups. Uh, but the effort was really good. Um, the competitiveness was good, which is what we were asking for. And, uh, you know, just overall today, especially in the practices, uh, you know, the, you know, everybody's a little bit more relaxed on day two as well. So the execution is a little bit better, um, you know, and uh, um, it was a little bit on the line for the guys in the scrimmage. So they, they continued competing all the way through. You've had leaders set the tone and last year this team went without a captain for the full year. Right now, where are you at with the status of this leadership group and the foundation that they built heading into uh, the preseason schedule pretty soon? Yeah, uh, we've, we've got a lot of faith in the core the core group. I mean, you see that starts with our assistant captains, uh, but it's you know it goes deeper than that as well. There's other guys in the dressing room that are involved in that um, and are, are very important uh, in that. You know, we've got some. Really good, you know, young players that are, you know, good people um, that that understand the game and the process that uh, that also in their own way can push and lead. Um, but uh, you know, as I said, the, the the you know the veteran group, the core group, um, you know, we've got uh, we got a lot of belief and a lot of faith in. Is it close to then think to the point where you think that you may still carry on with the same you know leadership group or decide on any captain pretty soon? Yeah, no, we'll we'll continue with uh, you know with the same group that we have right now with the assistant captains and um, continue that way into this year. Aside from a steady hand in the face-off circle, uh, what else do you see Belmar bringing to this group this season? Well, he's another guy. You know, he's another veteran guy that's you know he's played a lot of hockey and played on some good teams. So he you know he uh, he brings that that veteran leadership. Um, extremely competitive, um, outstanding team guy. Uh, whatever is needed to be done, he's a guy that's willing to do it, um, and he's also a guy that, with his work ethic, holds you know holds everybody around him uh, accountable. So, you know, he's uh, he's an important piece. You know, we expect him to help us on the PK and be a part of that, um, be able to take some of those heavy minutes, uh, which is real important for us, um, and just be a you know a real uh, stable and steady guy for us. Yeah, Duomo's been a good player in this league for you know he's not he's not that old, but he's played a lot of hockey in this league. Um, you know he's uh, you know coming off of a you know a summer where he's had the opportunity to you know to have a full summer to feel healthy, to train, to uh, to be in his routine, and I think we're you know we're seeing the results of that right now. He looks uh, he looks very good. He's moving really well. Um, and you know he's he's a confident player right now, and that's you know I know we're only a couple of days into camp, but those are you know those are things that kind of jump out at you. And you know again he's another guy that you know he's um, he brings some of that character and leadership to the table. Uh, he really fits into our group well in that way. Coach, you've talked a lot about the compete level, but how do you and the rest of the staff kind of work in conditioning, if at all, in the first few days of training? Camp? Yeah, that's pieced into everything. Um, you know, day one, um, you know, we, we probably leave a little bit of gas in the tank. Uh, you got to remember, you know, one of the goals is, you know, you get to the end of camp, you want to you wanna be ready, you want to be prepared, and you want to be healthy. Uh, so day one, you know, we, uh, you know, we leave a little bit on the table, a little bit in the tank, but today we emptied it, you know, um, you know with, uh, with a full practice, with a full scrimmage, and then conditioning after. Uh, but in reality, you know, guys come into camp in good shape. Uh, we're trying to push that over the next two weeks into, you know, true game shape. So part of that is, you know, through some of the things that we did, you know, yesterday and today. Um, you know, also part of that is going to be, you know, how we, you know, divvy up the playing time in preseason games and allow players to get themselves ready to elevate to the regular season, which is a whole different pace. When you have two goalies competing for one spot, like, how do you as a coaching staff evaluate that competition? Is it the preseason games? Is it how they look at practice? No, it's everything that you do. I mean, it's it's top to bottom. I mean, there's everybody that's in this camp is competing for something. Um, and that's, you know, you know, I was asked yesterday about the message to, to our guys. There was no big picture message. It was, a, you know, it was take advantage of the day. Um, that That's the message. So it's no different regardless of the position or the people that are involved. Um, you know, we, we're paying attention to, to practices, to performance, you know, within those practices. And then obviously once you get to, you know, game action in, in the preseason, those are, you know, those are important opportunities as well. 
<clears throat> well, he's. I mean, he's the guy in the front line, so obviously he's a he's a big part of that. He's, uh, you know, he's the guy that spends the most time, uh, so he's a big part of our evaluation. Two days, um, you must always. Are those passe? Are we did you uh, you didn't come over to rink two after the scrimmage? Yeah, I, we were. I could only be in one place at one time. Was there one going hmm. on that <laughs> Yeah, I guess they're passe then. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little extra in after each of the scrimmages today, and that's what I said. Like in all seriousness, I mean, yesterday was a practice and a scrimmage, uh, and we ended it there today. I mean, there was you know there was a short practice but full practice with small numbers on the ice and the full scrimmage uh, and then a little bit of conditioning after. Dave, can I ask you one quick one? Just Cole Lind, he's obviously competing for a, for a spot here last mm -hmm. year. He was, I think he was close but he ended up in, in Coachella. What's your messaging for him and, and what are you looking to see from, from him? You know, I haven't given a specific message. I mean he's, he's part of you know he's part of the group. I mean he's got an opportunity to go out and show us every day where where he's at and how he can help our team uh, you know, be be at our best when we start the regular season, and you know, there's no, there's no guys know where they're at. They, there's no hidden message necessary. Um, you know, camp is going to get more and more competitive as the numbers get smaller. Uh, we're not there yet. We're not. You know, we will we'll reduce the numbers of players in camp here. You know, a few days down the road, and and like I said, the the pace and the competitiveness noticeably changes when the numbers start to get smaller. He had a huge season last year, statistically, yeah. right, in, in Coachella. I mean, how much do you take into to what players did last year when you're evaluating them for, for this season? That's all part of it. I mean, um, whether they were here with us or within our organization or within another organization, I mean, we're pretty well aware of where players are coming from um, and, you know, what that might mean, you know, with their current performance and where they can take it in the future. Awesome. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.